what it is, what it do, Cyber World. It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It. Ash Said It dot com, Ash Said It dot com. Welcome to the Ash Said It daily podcast show. I appreciate you guys so, so very much. Over 1,500 episodes and half a million streams worldwide. None of this would be possible without you guys, so I thank you so, so much. And yes, we're still dealing with pandemic life, pandemic living. And some of you out there are having some struggles and all kinds of stuff going on in your relationship. So I brought on the wonderful author, intimacy expert, and relationship coach, the beautiful Alana Pratt. Hey, Alana. <laughs> Oh, it's, you're so kind. It's so great to be here. And yeah, there's a lot of a lot of intensity oh, going on goodness. with people right now. Yeah, so thank you for having me. Yeah, no, thank you. Oh, Alana, it's just there's just so much craziness going on um, in our world today. You know, in conjunction with you know COVID stuff and family and work stuff. It's just people are. This is really the major test of a relationship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the big Absolutely. reveal. Yes, um, but to start things off, Lana, like how long have you actually been kind of coaching people through some of their life's decisions? Yeah, well, I've been doing this for 20 years, mm. and it started because I was a hot mess, and I needed mm. help, and I had had one divorce and then another one, and of course, the only one in common was me, yeah. so I didn't want a third divorce, so I really looked at, you know, I wasn't growing. From the first one, I wasn't learning the lessons. I wasn't willing to take responsibility. I was having far too much fun blaming the other person. <laughs> but when I really slowed down, there was an insecurity in me, a, like a heart wound, uh, this seeking my happiness in another person uh, or making them responsible for my worth. Yeah. And that I had it all backwards. So I really had to learn how to become the one to find the one, to keep yes. the one. Now, would you say that it is possible after a divorce to find love again? Oh, hell yes. I'm sorry, can I say that? <laughs> you I can. Know. Yes, we will label the show. We'll keep okay, it good. real. Um, yeah, def- absolutely. And in fact, you're probably going to find true love. I find a lot of our first uh, relationships or marriages are very Disneyland-based. Mm. Um, they're very fan- fantasy-based. Like, mm-hmm. you'll complete me which is total Mm -hmm. BS, Um, and they are really meant to reveal our blind spots, Mm -hmm. you know, the places where we haven't healed anger, where we're still ashamed maybe of our sexuality, we're guilty, uh, feeling guilty about really asking for our true desires Mm -hmm. uh, or having healthy boundaries. And so hopefully you're able to do the work within the relationship so it doesn't lead to divorce. However, that requires that both people are willing to grow up, show up, face their fears, feel what they don't want to feel and grow and quite often only one partner of the two Mm. are willing to do that and so the divorce happens so that doesn't mean it's a failure it means you learned you grew you're doing the work and hopefully you lovingly invited that person to come along and grow with you and if not hopefully you came from a place of blessing and gratitude thank you for all that I learned Mm -hmm. this is not moving in the direction I require Mm -hmm. but I couldn't have got here without you thank you I love you. Yeah. I bless you. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. See you in another lifetime. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> I love yeah. that, and it's, and you you said it perfectly. There's a couple things I want to touch on that you just said, as far as like your first relationship or your first marriage or whatever. It's so fairy tale and la di da di da. And I'll even put myself yeah. out there. I'll, I'll I'll put this out to the universe. I don't talk too much about my personal life here, uh, a lot of, but um, my very first boyfriend. Oh my gosh, it was just like it was, it was everything that a Disney. Um, fairy tale could could enchant, right? It's just everything's perfect, yeah. and you guys are just perfect, and everything's just perfect, and then the bottom falls out yeah. from under it. And yeah. I remember, <laughs> yeah. and I remember feeling so broken and so less of a person, and just so like, oh my gosh, this person doesn't want to be with me. This is the end of life, and it it really wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had to go through a lot of different stages of grief. Because it was almost like I was grieving yeah. a death. I was, it, was, it was weird. I didn't really think about it like that. But it was almost like grieving a death. And um, yeah. years and years later, I had, you know, come through that miraculously and, you know, met a really awesome guy. And, you know, things didn't work out. But it showed me the growth that I had taken. And, um, 
It really, it really did. And I'll tell you this, um, during this pandemic, that first ex, he actually reached out to me and we reconnected. Yeah, we reconnected. And the sad part about it is he never grew. (laughs) He was still that Ah, same, ah. that same childish person that he was previously, which is why we could never, ever be. And yeah. it just further on was confirmation to me that, yeah, I'm doing things right. <laughs> I'm yeah. certainly doing things yeah. a lot better. So well, now that. Thank you for sharing that because to grow takes bravery and humility. Mm. And that is different than just, you know, putting sprinkles on top of the ice cream cone of crap and pretending mm. you're fine and doing that spiritual Mm -hmm. bypassing thing. No, 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 I'm fine. I got this. But you haven't really faced anything, felt anything, or grown. Mm -mm. So a lot of us can just get busy on Facebook or have a little addiction to porn on the side or need to eat hog and dogs at 3 in the morning, and then the next day we're fake, we're fine, and we move on. (laughs) But we haven't sat in the fire Mm. and done the deep inner work, which, which is why I developed a dating app, actually, that has an intimacy training built into it because my clients were just devastated. Yeah. They're like, look, I, I do the work. Mm-hmm. I date somebody. And then that first tough conversation about sex, about money, mm-hmm. about boundaries, about ba- and they're gone. Yeah. They ditch me. They, they ghost me. Like, where are the people that can sit in the fire <laughs> and do the work? And I said, well, they're in my program. Yeah. They're in my group coaching program, <laughs> but uh, we need more of them. So that's why I've developed this app so that there's a lot of people that go, you know what? The only thing in common with my failed relationships is me. Okay. <laughs> exactly. You, you got to look introspectively at yourself and not want to yeah. always blame the other person. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and, and really what we don't, what we want is a partner that is always going to grow. Yeah. You know, who's all, like it's a plant. Yeah. You know, you don't just water the plant once. Here they are. I've met the one. Mm-mm. And then that's it. No, 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 no. You, mm-hmm. you got to fertilize that plant. Give it love. Yes. Give it give it sunshine. Give it a date night. Give it deep conversations. Yes. Give it a, a therapist or a counselor like me and have date like have sex night. Have yes. make, make it night. Like you've got to grow it. Yes. And that's not a weakness. That's no. called how you flourish and thrive. Yes, a partner to grow with. I love that. I'm taking notes too on. All right. So cuz Okay, I, still haven't gotten it. I still haven't gotten it quite figured out yet, but yeah, taking notes. No, that's right. It's like you want someone that's going to grow. That person emotionally, mentally should not be in the same place that they were previously. They should always no. level up. Um, and yes. in more times than none, heck, it's probably even better to say if they're a few levels ahead of you, that's something for you to aspire to. True, true. As long as they don't go into dad or mom or mentor role, they stay as lover and they let somebody like me be the one that gives the advice. Yeah, you got to be careful of giving giving unsolicited advice. However, you made a really good point. When we um, are half empty, it's sort of like that. You're my soulmate. You complete me. Mm -hmm. Um, But we don't actually take full responsibility for ourselves, and we blame them for not making us happy. However, I'm calling my dating app Heart Mates. Because it's a whole heart, two whole hearts, not perfect, but whole. I'm willing to take total responsibility for my happiness. And Mm -hmm. from the overflow, I'm a stand for your enlightenment. I'm a stand that you live your dreams. And I'm going to give from the overflow, which means I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to make sure I do my meditation. I'm going to make sure I do my girl's night or my guy's night. You're not responsible for my my well-being. It's my choice to bring my best self into this relationship so the whole is greater than the sum of the parts and then that's what humanity needs right now consciousness needs right now oh, yeah is these whole made heart made couples because mm-hmm. we're in a bit of a pickle <laughs> we need a little more love and light around here <laughs> i agree with that wholeheartedly now Elena, I, we were talking before we started the recording and everything and i was telling you that i actually have um I have friends in a situation right now, married couple. They've been married for about 13 years. And the pandemic has not been easy on everyone. And it's been a bit of a struggle with working from home, child care, things of that nature. Well, long story short, Uh this couple has decided that they want to get a divorce, that they're not happy, that maybe they haven't been happy for a while. 
but they're living yeah. in dysfunction. And I, I've kind of, I've not said directly, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. But I've kind of hinted toward maybe you guys need to look at possibly, you know, separating lives at this point of the game. Um, just yes. so there's not like a war every morning over cereal or <laughs> who drank the last of the coffee. Oh, dear, dear. You know? Um, yeah. So yeah. what advice would you offer to a couple that's going through it during pandemic? Yeah. I would ask them to call me. Yeah. <laughs> I would ask them to sit. And, and the first the first question I would ask them is, what do you love about being so mean to each other? Mm. Because what they love is that they don't have to face their own fear of figuring out the money. Mm. They don't have to face their own overwhelm of how to split up and find another place to live. They don't have to be big and forgive and do the inner work. They don't have to move on and have the conversation with the rest of the community and family that we have decided to end our sacred contract. Mm. They don't have to do any of that big boy, big girl stuff. They just get to be temper tantrum toddlers and uh, project their dysfunction onto one another. So I would ask them, are you ready to grow up? Mm. Are you ready to do the the capital R right thing and bless each other and stop spewing your anger on one another? Mm. and be brave and will you yeah. let me help you go through these tough milestones of the money and where do you live mm-hmm. and how to communicate with each other from now on if they have kids yeah. so you can consciously uncouple how to have that conversation and explain to very often judgmental people mm-hmm. you know they're going to push their shame onto you that divorce is wrong how can you communicate mm. and say hey we had a good ride we learned a lot. We've decided our sacred contract is over, and I wish them the best. Right. And have this practiced line you can give the world so you can open your heart and move forward mm. rather than, yeah, fight over the cereal. Yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah, I will definitely give them your number, your website, the app, all that good stuff because they need it. <laughs> yeah, and also to give them compassion. It's hard. If you're all alone yeah. and the only person you can talk to all day is someone who you don't want to be with anymore, it's it's really hard. It's heavy. It spins in your mind. It's, it's scary. Yeah. But if you have a third party who doesn't judge, who shows you the gift in all of this and who's got your back, right. it's like you can exhale a bit and you can find your bravery mm. and your courage and move forward. Absolutely. Alana Pratt, thank you so much for joining us today. And we appreciate mm. you. It's been a blessing. Uh, you dropping some little oh, nuggets on us today. Uh, let everyone know the best way to get in contact with you and, of course, to follow you on social media. Thank you. Yeah. So if you're single, I'd love you to check out heartmates.app. That's my dating app and intimacy training all rolled into one. My website, alanapratt.com, has lots of free content and intimacy blind spots, assessment, connections to my YouTube channel, my podcast called Intimate Conversations, lots of resources there to, to love you. So thank you. Come on. Come on into my world and let me love you. All right. I'm going to go download the app right now, Lana, um, while we're still talking. <laughs> Just get that set up. <laughs> but uh, absolutely. Heartmates.app. Yeah, thank yes. you. It's really how we become the one <laughs> to find the one, which That's is what right. we need to keep the one. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly it. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. Keeping in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. You look them square in the face. You tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.